Hey guys, what's up? It is Mina, and today I will be doing a like total my favorite products that are drugstore priced, because some of these technically can't be found at the drugstore, but they're drugstore priced, and in my opinion, that is $20 and under. Now, some of these things are like at the $20 mark, but most of the time you can find coupons for them, um, or you can find them on Hope Look or something like that. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, just a disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. Not a makeup artist, I just do makeup for fun. Um, I'm not claiming these are the best products in the world because honestly, I have not tried all of the makeup products in the world and I don't think I ever will be able to because there are just so many. Like, it's insane. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna do this in the order that I apply my makeup. That's just how I do it. And I'm also gonna link all this stuff below. So let's get into it. First off, I'm going to do eyeshadow palettes. I have four here, but the first two I'm going to talk about are the ColourPop little nine pan palettes. I have two. I have Soul and It's My Pleasure. So Soul is extremely summery. I mean, I, hopefully I'm not like blinding you guys with a mirror. I'm just going to do that. It's extremely summery. It's a lot of like peachy, orangey, gorgeous bronzy shades. I love this palette. It is so gorgeous. My boyfriend got it for me for Christmas, so I know he's watching this, so thank you. I love you. Um, and it is just so pretty. Also, the packaging is gorgeous. I love that it has like this jumbo mirror. Y'all can just see my camera set up. It's fine. Um, I love the jumbo mirror on this thing. It just makes it so nice for like if you're traveling, um, you can just pop this in your bag, like if you're going on a summer vacation, pop this in your bag, you will not be disappointed. Um, I'll swatch a couple shades for you guys. So, where are the shades on this thing? Um, now on this palette, it doesn't have like the shades like listed right here, so you have to like, look on the back, which is a little annoying. Um, I'll swatch just these three down the middle for you guys. Because these are honestly my three favorite shades from the palette. So those are those shades. Um, the shade names are Anthem, Motel, and Ooh. Um, <laughs> they are just gorgeous summery shades. Like I look at this palette and I just think summer. Also, I've just got makeup wipes right here so I can wipe off swatches for you guys. Um, so that is the Soul palette. These retail for $12, but most of the time I wait for a 20% off sale and they're in like under $10. And then this is the palette I'm wearing on my eyes today. It is the It's My Pleasure palette. Now this one, I just have so, so much makeup on my eyes. Um, this one is just total purple explosion gorgeousness. I love this palette. I haven't had it for that long. I just got it probably a week ago. Probably not even that long ago, honestly, but I've already used this thing twice and it is gorgeous. The ColourPop formula is just amazing and it dry, it like, it blows my mind how they have such amazing quality. Um, I love this palette because all the shimmers in here you can blend out into the crease if you wanted to. Like I've definitely dug into this chick lip color in case you can't see. That gorgeous rich deep purple. It's just so gorgeous but the mattes are just insane. So I'm going to swatch Kit and Fish, uh, Bare Minimum, Chick Lit, and Fan Fiction for you guys. So Kit and Fish is right there. That is Bare Minimum. That is Chiclet and that is fan fiction. See, these are just absolutely gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous colors. I cannot get enough of them. Um, now, I'm not including brushes in this video. I probably should have put that at the beginning. But I'm not including brushes in this video, so if you want to see brushes, then leave a thumbs up and also comment down below, and I will give you guys my favorite brushes under $20. Honestly, I think all of my brushes are under $20 because I don't have a lot of money. So, all of my favorite brushes, I can do that in a separate video. Now the next one is honestly really surprising. I picked this up on a whim. It's the Essence Follow Your Dreams palette, or this one's Follow Your Heart, but then online it says Follow Your Dreams. So, I don't know, maybe they just changed the name of it. So this is just gorgeous. This is an all matte palette. There's a couple shades, whoops, with like a little bit of shimmer in it, but honestly I just consider this an all matte palette. It just has gorgeous neutrals. It is the perfect 
neutral palette. So if you have been looking for something that's gorgeous, it blends well together, it's amazing, check out this palette because it is only $10. Um, you can get it at Ulta or on Essence's website. My favorite shades are Choose, uh, Choose Latte, Bronze Me, yeah, First Blush, and Chocoholic. They're just really gorgeous, just nice neutral tones, neutral shades. I love this palette. Um, now, it can get a little tricky. Some of the shades can kind of just blend together a little bit, but honestly, for the price, mm, I love this. I, this is my go-to palette when I'm just going to try and do like a neutral smoky eye that day. Oh, love it, you guys. I'm going to try and keep this video short, but I already know it's not important. The next, this one is one of the things that is at the $20 mark, but again, most of the time you can find it on sale. This is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. This is the only Juvia's Place palette I own, and honestly, owning this one just makes me want a million more. So this is just a very gorgeous, bronzy toned palette. I definitely need to dip into this palette a little bit more. I've done a few looks with it, um, but lately I just haven't been feeling bronzes. I've just been feeling more colorful shadows, but that's just a preference of mine lately. It changes all the time. But these shadows blend so amazing together and the shimmers are absolutely insane and gorgeous. I'm gonna swatch, I'll swatch this matte shade for you guys. Does it list the shading on the back? No, it doesn't. I threw away the little plastic thing that had the shade, so I'm sorry. So the second one on the top row, um, and then I'll get the fourth one on the top row. These are gonna be shimmers. The third one on the second row and the last one on the second row. Swatch these for you guys because they are, oh my gosh, I'm just swatching them. I'm just, like, oh my goodness, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous bronzy tones. They blend together so well and again you can use the shimmers to kind of define your crease, whatever you're feeling that day. It is honestly amazing. So that is it for eyeshadow palettes, but if you're feeling a little more advanced and you want to get some crazy pigment, now these are from ColourPop, um, I recommend either picking up the Jelly Mud Shadows or a Loose Pigment. But if you are a very beginner or you're just, you don't feel comfortable using a Loose Pigment, which most of the time I don't, definitely go for the Jelly Mud Shadows. These are insane like the most insane formula. So it comes with like a little like happy thingy on the top. You take it off and it just reveals, it's literally like a jelly in there. And, oh, I'm getting gold all over myself. Oh well. And like here, I'm just gonna like go wash. Dip my finger in there. Look at how like pigmented that is just for here. I'll get like a little bit more. Like insane color. This is the shade Origami. It is an insane gold. Like, oh my gosh. I know I'm gonna keep saying insane for this entire video. I'm sorry, y'all, but I can't help myself. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna go all over my face. These are brand new. Uh, it's okay. Um, this is another shade my boyfriend picked up for me for Christmas, so nice. And then I just got the shade uh, Half Moon, which I'm actually wearing on my lids right now. It is very, it's it's not as vibrant as Origami, that's for sure. This is like a mauve, 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 I don't know. Um, toned purple, it just looks gorgeous. You can get just a little bit and put it on the eyes, that's what I did today, I put it over like a light light shimmery shadow so you still got like a little bit of shimmer in there. It's so gorgeous. And then I'm not gonna swatch this one for you guys because honestly I will get glitter all over myself. But this is Kathleen Lights the Ram. If you watch my So as I was saying, if you watched my Get Ready With Me video, you did see me applying this. And if you haven't watched that yet, I'll link it up in the cards. <laughs> um, also, I just want to like quickly apologize for my hair today. I know there's like a dry chin boomer on the top of my head. My hair is just not cooperating with me today. But like I want to keep it down like it looks pretty down. Now I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. Um, I have I have a liquid, op two liquid options and then just a pencil option. So the first liquid option is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I just have this in black. It's just a nice black liquid liner. It's only eight or nine dollars. 
So you just get my spank three buck. And then this is the only one I own in the Vivid Brights line. It's the Vivid Sapphire color. It's just a really gorgeous Um, it's just really gorgeous. And then this is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Swerve. It's just a black liner. I'm wearing it on my um, waterline right now. Just, these are all really, really nice. They stay really long. I like how Swerve just stays in my uh, waterline for a decent amount of time. Obviously, I can't really expect that much because my eyes, I wear contacts, so like my eyes water a lot with the contacts. Um, so, you know, it's just does how I go sometimes. Um, so that's pretty much it for the eye portion. Then I move on to my face. Lately, I have been loving the Ulta Beauty Poreless Primer. This is a baby size of it, but I just ordered the full size because it was on sale on Ulta. Um, it just, it sticks on your makeup. There's no like gross ingredients in this. It just is so nice, you guys. I cannot get enough of this stuff. It's amazing. It just grips onto your makeup. It gives you that barrier between like skincare and makeup and I love that. Oh, so amazing. All right, next for foundation, I have four different options. I, okay, foundation is my favorite makeup stick, you guys. It's just, it just is. I don't really know why it is. I think I just like seeing my face just like, it's just like, bam, perfection. Well, not perfection, because I'm, I, I honestly, I don't like that whole like, like, that was a weird way to describe that. <laughs> like, um, like, uh, <laughs> I feel so silly right now. I don't like, that bam, flawless, no imperfection kind of face because I don't find that natural. And so I want that nice barrier between natural but also flawless. So I kind of just want to like look like this is how my skin naturally looks. Although we all know this is not how my skin naturally looks, but it's okay. Um, so I'm just going to go kind of like in range from like coverage, so like lighter, medium to full. So for lighter coverage, I really do love the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This honestly feels like you're not wearing any foundation on your face. It's a very thin formula. Not as thin as like the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Foundation. Definitely not as thin as that, but it is a very thin formula. And I really do like it. This is just nice for like you're putting on a little bit of makeup um, and also this does have an SPF of 17, so that is nice. I mean, like, obviously I recommend wearing more of an SPF, but if you're not getting your SPF out from somewhere, get it from this. This is so nice for just a nice light coverage face. Only thing I hate is I hate that it's just, you just pour it out on your hand. I hate that. I wish that there was a better way, like, why can't they put this in a squeezy tube or a pump or something or like a dropper although I don't like dropper formulas either but like anything other than just pouring it out on the back of your hand I hate having to do that but other than that this is a really good foundation I really do like it if you're wondering my shade I wear the shade like ivory w2 um next this is kind of lighter to medium probably more medium you could build it up a little bit if you wanted to. I've really been enjoying this lately. It's the Revlon Candid Foundation. Um, I have mine in the shade 130. It is natural finish, anti-pollution, um, which I like. I just like that it has cleaner ingredients in it. Um, there's no bad ingredients in this. It just, I, I don't know. It kind of feels like a thick BB cream going on your face, which is honestly kind of my favorite form of foundation whenever you're going for like in like the spring and summer months. I just, I love that. Um, it just, it feels so nice on your skin. Whenever you're applying it, it just feels like you're putting velvet on your skin. It's so nice, you guys. I think this is around $10, around $10. Don't quote me on that. Oh, the L'Oreal True Match is around $8 in case you were wondering. Um, next for a more medium coverage, I actually haven't worn this in a hot second because I've been testing out a couple different foundations, but this is my tried and true, have loved it since they came out with it, sorry my eyes are watering y'all, um, it's just amazing, gorgeous formula, I just, I love it so much, um, the ColourPop No Formula Foundation. Of course, I love all ColourPop things, um, I have the shade, like, 50, um, 
it just, I don't know, it just, literally, it looks like you have nice skin. It's a medium to full coverage. You can build it up to full coverage, but personally, I just don't like doing that. Um, but it's a really nice foundation. Like, I kind of pair it with, it's like L'Oreal True Match's sister, but like more of a full coverage sister, if that makes any sense. Um, oh man, I'm missing a foundation. I'll grab it in a second. Um, so I have to grab another one. But next is everyone's been loving it, the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation. Um, this does have an SPF of 25. Again, recommend more of an SPF, but if this is all you're getting, that's fine. Um, this is so good, you guys. This is what I'm wearing on my skin right now. Um, I just, I love how this wears throughout the day. It doesn't break up on my skin, no matter what products I'm using. It's just so amazing. I cannot get over it. I love how it has a pump. Um, I love the little cap on it. So then like nothing happens to it. Like, and this has been what I've been traveling with. I just, I can't get enough of it. And it's, I have normal to dry skin, but this doesn't dry up my skin. I've just been loving it so much. Um, and I'd say this is medium to full coverage. Definitely can build it up to full. Now for full, full coverage, let me go grab it. Okay, sorry, I <laughs> had a little technical difficulty. Um, for full, full coverage, Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. I used to not be able to wear this, um, but they recently changed the formula, so it's formulated without talc. I try to stay away from products with talc in it because talc is linked to asbestos and also it breaks out my skin, so like, I just kind of have <laughs> to stay away from it. Um, I'm the shade Natural. I really like this foundation, you guys. It is $6. I would not expect a $6 foundation to perform as well as this one does, but it really does. Um, it just, it looks so good on your face. It's just, it literally is a flawless finish foundation. Only thing I must say about this is you do have to set it a little bit, but that's honestly not a problem for me. I don't mind setting my foundation. It's not my favorite thing to do. Most of the time I try to avoid it, but like if you set this foundation with any kind of powder and it is stuck on your face, you have a flawless face for an entire day. And I just, I love this stuff. Now for concealer, I've got four. What is with my obsession with face products? I have so many. Um, so, um, I think again I'm gonna go in like with like lightest to fullest coverage or whatever. I've been loving this stuff lately. It's the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in it, so that means it's like nice for your face. As you can see, it's a very thin formula. Um, I think I got this for around nine dollars, nine ten dollars. Um, I just I love how this blends into my skin. Um, I'll wear it under my eyes all the time. Like if my under eyes are super dry that day, I'll just wear it under the eyes and I'll set it with a little bit of powder just to make sure nothing creases and I'm good to go. My eye. My under eyes just look healthy. I have used it for like other problems in my face, like if one part of my face is particularly red that day or something like that. It also works well for that, but personally I prefer it on my under eyes and I don't recommend it for blemishes. That is like a strictly under eye only concealer. It just makes you look healthy and natural and glowing and I love it. Um, next is the Revlon Candid uh, Concealer. This. Also, you would have seen this if you saw my Get Ready With Me video. It has a very strange applicator, but I kind of like it. Um, this is more of a light to medium coverage. Um, probably more medium. This is definitely thicker than the uh, Ulta Youthful Glow Concealer, but it blends in so nicely. Most of the time I'm blending things into a sponge. But I will sometimes tap things in with my fingers just to get it nice and all that jazz. And of course, this will come to no surprise to any of you guys. The ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I love this stuff, you guys. It's amazing. It's like a hydrating Tarte Shape Tape. Honestly, I got rid of my Tarte Shape Tape after I got this. Um, I have two shades. One of my friends has my, has my other shade at the moment. I need to text her and be like, I need that back. <laughs> Um, this is in the shade light 10. I also have light 16, um, but I use this for more highlighting areas and stuff. I use this under my eyes today. It is just, it looks very thin when you put it on. Oh, but honey, trust me, 
you blend this thing out, like look, it just keeps going and going and going for days. It is insane. I cannot be enough with it. I have repurchased it probably six or seven times. Mm, not probably more like five or six times. I I go through it like that and it's just so amazing. You can buy them at Ulta now. I love that. So you can go in and swatch the shades and get it for six dollars. It's amazing. I just, I want them to bring the foundation into stores so then more people have access to it. I just think it's amazing. And then for the most full coverage concealer, this one, honestly, if I had to rank all of my concealers, I probably would put this one last just because the packaging. It's the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This packaging, you guys, is just so messy. Like, I don't know if they just put too much product in the bottle so it just gets everywhere. Like, I have this concealer all over my makeup vanity all over my other makeup, like it's bad. Um, but this is definitely a high coverage concealer. Um, see you guys, I just splattered some onto my finger from closing it. Like it's so messy, it drives me insane. Um, it is really nice, it's $5, so if you're looking for a good full coverage concealer and like packaging doesn't really bother you or anything like that, then this is a good one for you. I have mine in the shade Light Peach. They have a pretty good shade range, like I think it's around 26 shades. Obviously it could be better, but it's not as bad as some concealers where they come out with like six shades. Like come on you guys, it's 2019, let's get past this. There are more than six skin tones in the world. Like it just ugh, drives me insane. But yeah, that is a good concealer. It just ugh, drives me a little insane. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot another product. Oh, I thought I grabbed everything, you guys. I'm so okay. So for powder, this is covered in the Elf Camo Concealer, of course. I have been loving. The Physicians Formula Healthy Powder. This has an SPF of 16, which I think is kind of cool for a powder. Um, it's just very thin, and I like it because whenever you go to set your makeup, it just looks healthy, hence the name. I have not tried the liquid foundation yet. I can't get my hands on it for um, like my shade, because I'm the shade LN3, and this is perfect for me. Now, I haven't tried using this like as a straight-up foundation. I just personally don't like how powder looks on my skin whenever I use it as a straight up foundation. I used to do that like when I was like 13 and it looked awful. Why can't, can we just go back and tell 13 year old Nina like stop, stop. It does not look good on your skin honey. Like you have dry skin, stop, please. <laughs> um, but I really have been liking this lately. It's around $15 so it is higher up on the scale but I just love it and I love that it's talc free. That is honestly my biggest thing. I can never find a powder at the drugstore that is talc free. It is the hardest thing for me, but I really have been liking this. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to like bronzers, contours, blushes, highlighters, all the rest of the face or whatever. So I really have been liking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and Take It to Brazil. This is a very light bronze, like very light bronze. But I kind of like that sometimes. Like, I just, I do. It's got like a nice sheen to it. Like, it's it's not shimmery. It just looks like, it's just got a sheen that just makes it look natural. I like it. This is really nice for one of those, like, I'm not feeling makeup days. Like, I just want to put on some concealer and get over it. And then you just put this on and your skin just looks nice and pretty. And just like, has like a nice gorgeous glow to it. And I love it. For an actual bronzer, like bronzer, this is the Burt's Bees Blush and Toasted Cinnamon. <sighs> this is a little pricey, I think it's around $12, but you guys, I bought this and I honestly like cried whenever I first used it because it is an intense, this is a bronze, like a bronze, bronze. Y'all are gonna make fun of me so much for it. <laughs> Um, but it's very orangey. I am wearing this as a bronzer today. I don't hate it. I honestly really like it. Um, it's definitely not a natural bronze. Definitely not. Do not think it is one. But it just makes your skin look nice and sun-kissed and glowy. And not really glowy, just sun-kissed and I really like it. 
for a bronzer slash contour, or you can use this as an eyeshadow, it is just a three in one, probably like 17 in one product. This is the Balm Bahama Mama. This is another one where the price point is on the higher side. Also, I'm sorry if the lighting's changing, y'all. The sun is being weird. It's behind the cloud right now. Um, this is $20, but again, you can find it on sale most of the time. They do have it on Coat Look every once in a while, which is 50% off, so then it'd be $10. This, honestly, I've been using this for years. I can't get enough of it. It's just a gorgeous bronze. It's just a nice contour. I used it as a contour today. You can use it as a bronzer. You can use it as an eyeshadow. Again, if you're going for like a five minute makeup look and you just want to throw something in the crease, like throw this in your crease, you will look gorgeous. I love it. For blush, this is another Burt's Bees blush, only this one's actually kind of more of a blushy color for my skin tone. This is the shade uh, Shy Pink. Um, this is a little pink for my liking. Um, I'm just honestly more of a fan of like peachy or corally or red, 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 blushes, but this is really pretty honestly. A little goes a long way with this blush and sometimes I will just use it with another blush in conjunction with another blush and just use it as a gorgeous like try to make it a little more cool toned kind of a blush. It's just gorgeous. I really do like it. Now for highlighter. Um, this is the Morphe High Impact Highlighter in the shade Extra. I'm wearing this on my cheekbones today. It is very extra. Um, this is like a peachy gold, really gorgeous, like champagne. Just every single color under the sun, y'all. Just so gorgeous. Like, tell me that's not gorgeous. I can't get enough of this stuff. Um, this is around $14. Again, you can find it on sale. Like if you get it at Ulta and you have like a $3.50 off 15 coupon, you can get this with it. It's amazing. I definitely recommend it. Now these are kind of all of the above cheek products, but they're cream. So I wanted to kind of include them all together. They are, I have so many. Colourpop Super Shock. <laughs> Uh, like cheap products. These are insane. I own how many? I own a contour shade, three blush shades, and three highlighter shades. These are just so good, you guys. Like I, I can't get enough of ColourPop. All of their formulas. So this is the shade Aphrodisiac. I think I'm saying that right. I've already hit pan on it. I want to buy it again. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous contour color. And it just goes on so smoothly and buttery and just oh, looks so amazing on your skin. The only thing is, is that I don't recommend pairing these cheek products with the L'Oreal True Match um, foundation because I've noticed whenever I wear cream products with that foundation, it breaks up on my face. I've tried using like a different primer or a different concealer or a different powder or something. It still breaks up on my face. So it is these cream products. That it just doesn't mesh well with the foundation, y'all. It just it happens, it happens, don't get mad. So I own three, three color pop blushes, the Super Shock blushes. So this one is Cool Intentions. It's more of a rosy, like berry toned pink. I really like that one. Um, am I wearing this? I am wearing this blush right now on my face. That's the blush I'm wearing. Um, and then I have Never Been Kissed. This one is very bright. It's a brighter pink. You have to definitely, it's more like of a peachy coral kind of a color. It's gorgeous. You have to use a light hand with this blush, especially. Um, and then I also have, this is the shade Between the Sheets. This is my first ColourPop Super Shock blush. This is very, very neutral. Just a very neutral pink. That's it right there on top. It's just so nice for just a natural flush on your skin. I think it's honestly my favorite blush, the ColourPop Between the Sheets. I just, I love it so much. It's just gorgeous and peachy and just, I know I keep saying gorgeous and I love it and amazing and insane, but like just all of this stuff is. I truly love all of these products. Um, next are the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighters. So these two are the ones that I own that are not discontinued. This one is sadly discontinued, so I'm not going to swatch it. 
Although that one is my favorite highlighter, so I kind of try and like use it sparingly. <laughs> um, so I have Lunch Money in Hippo. Lunch Money is definitely more champagne. Oh, you guys, if you have never felt a super shock, either shadow or cheek or anything like that, you need to, because these things are like buttery, soft. So Lunch Money is on the bottom and Hippo is on top. As you can see, Hippo is more of a lavender color. I really do like this. Probably should have put this on today, honestly, with my purpley look, but it's all right. Too late now. Um, but they're just so pretty, and they, I feel like with cream products, they just blend into your skin so much more naturally than, uh, face, not face products, what am I saying, than powder products do. It's just my opinion. So for eyebrows, I use, I recommend, most of mine are expensive because brows are nice, and I like to spend money on my brows, but one that I actually will use that's not expensive is the ColourPop Brow Box. Pencil. Um, I have mine in the shade Ash Brown. Um, I'm not wearing this on my eyebrows today, actually. Should it be This is definitely a very pencil formula. It's not a gel. It does not like blend into your skin. Like it is a pencil specifically for drawing in your eyebrow hairs. Um, don't go into it with the expectation of it just like tinting your brows and making them look flawless. You have to put work into it when you're using that product. Next, excuse me, for mascara I have two. These are my favorite. This one for lengthening, this one for volumizing. I am only wearing this one today because this one's a little dried out. I just ordered a new one, so it's getting here three days or something like that. So for lengthening, the Essence Lash Paradise, the one with the green uh, designs gorgeous you guys like look at this wand you can tell I like a lot of natural bristled wands I don't like the plasticky ones but this one's just like I've tried brushes that look like this maybe it's the formula but it just is so amazing I oh and this one's for volumizing a lot of people have claimed that it is a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I have not tried that ma I, I have tried that mascara I haven't had them in a while so I can't totally claim that but look at this wand like, it is definitely, like, trying to do, and also, like, the pink packaging, like, it is definitely trying to do the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I don't know if I mentioned what this is. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And then finally, for lips, these are ColourPop, of course, um, um, but I do have one non-ColourPop. This is for lipstick, like an actual cream lipstick. This is a Morphe lipstick. This is in the shade Hate. Hey, oh god, I almost broke my lipstick. That would have been horrible, because I love this lipstick. This is in the shade Hey Sugar. I use this lipstick all the time. It's just gorgeous. Um, for more of a punchier lipstick, the Lux lipsticks from ColourPop are amazing. This one is in Friends. I'm going to a little bit so I don't make the same mistake I just did. It's just a gorgeous, rich, chocolatey brown color. Can't, I, mm, so amazing. For a liquid lipstick, I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Jirini. I just love this formula. I have a few in this formula. It just is comfortable on the lips. It will move. It doesn't dry down like a natural, like an actual liquid lipstick does. Um, I mean, like it dries down, but it's gonna transfer. Like you can't go like kissing somebody and expect it not to transfer. But it's just so gorgeous and so comfortable. I love it. And then for lip gloss, it's ColourPop. Um, I just I have more expensive lip glosses. But obviously this is more of a drugstore price video, so I can't really like that. But there just is a nice formula. It's really, really gorgeous. So this is in the shade Aquarius. So that is it for the video, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And also subscribe. The button is down there. I think it's on that side. I think it's on this side. <laughs> um, also, don't forget to hit that little bell so then you get the notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much.